So good morning. It's uh, my first day back from work and um, my kids texted me yesterday and said, Mom, you have a package here. And it says it has to go in the refrigerator, but it's in a huge box. It's a big box. They go, the box doesn't fit in the fridge. So we took it all apart and put everything in the refrigerator. So I um, got on the FaceTime with my kids and said, show me what's in the refrigerator. And um, this is what was in the refrigerator. All of it, still in bags, Sharps container included. <laughs> um, so I have received my medications and uh, my kids are insane. You'd think they'd know that you don't need to put needles in the fridge, but apparently not. Um, so I wanted to show you guys what exactly came in the box. And I'm gonna try to set this up so we can actually see me and my phone does not fall. So I wanted to show you what actually came in the box. Now this is um, a little bit different than my last round of medications. It's a different physician, so um, everything's a little bit different. And I'm not a, I'm a little bit more nervous this time, I think, than I was last time with these meds because I, some of them I haven't taken before. So um, first things first, uh, you will almost always get a Sharps container. <sighs> my son was like, mom, I closed it for you. And I was like, buddy, you can't close the sharps container and lock it. I thought he had locked this little tab right here. Once you lock this tab, the sharps container is designed to not open again so that people cannot break into your sharps container and steal your needles and use them for purposes not related to medical treatment. <laughs> um, so keep that in mind, because if you lock this little guy, you will not be able to reopen generally. Um, that's kind of how it's supposed to be set up, but he put the lid on and as you can see you can't It's not real easy to get off. It's designed to not come off So just be aware of that you can close it But I don't recommend snapping that down because you're gonna lock it into place. So sharps container um, I have a small fortune of syringes with needles attached to them. These are three ml syringes I'm not even going to pick them all up because there's so many of them. Um, but 3 ml syringes, you can see this. Hopefully you can read it. A uh, 3 milliliter syringe. It's got a lure lock tip, which means that the tip actually locks into place. It's an 18 gauge needle at one and a half inches long. Um, lure lock means I'm actually going to open it and show it to you. Um, so you open it just like this and it comes right out. Lure lock means that you twist this and it comes out. So you can maybe see the threads in there and you can, let me see if I can get my camera to focus. You can see how it's got those little phalanges on it. Um, these go in here like this and you twist them into place and that keeps your needle in place. So um, this is a rather large needle and 18 gauge is a large thick needle. Let me see, maybe you can see it there. Um, it's a large bore needle. This is one of the bigger ones. Usually when you get IVs in the hospital, this is the one you use. So um, just showing you that. But let me show you now how you dispose of it in your sharps container. For those of you who don't know, it's got this one little spot right here where you can technically stick this guy through. Or to save space, I say if you have recapped, and I know your directions say not to recap. So what this is for is to go in here you put it in like this and you can lock it in place and untwist it off and then just kind of nudge it down and drop that in there. Or you can just take it off yourself. This part doesn't need to go in the sharps container and then you just close it. I don't know if it'll close. Close it and you've got your little guy in there. Um, there's also some other sized uh, needle adapters. Uh, usually the 18 gauges are used for drying up. You don't generally stab yourself with one of these because it hurts. Molly, stop chewing on that. My dog likes to chew, I apologize. Um, these are a little bit smaller. These are 22 gauge needles, uh, 22 by one and a half. The one and a half is the length from here to here. Generally it's the, the length of the needle. Um, the one and a halfs are usually used for IM injections, so I'm guessing these are for my progesterone injections. Um, this is to draw it up and this is to inject it is my best uh, educated guess. Yes, um, let's move all of this. We can get it out of the way so you can see. 
Um, I also got a little baggie of these. It came with a, a little note. These are actually insulin syringes. Uh, let me see which way is up, right there. Um, so it says BD one half CC insulin syringe. So you'll see these look very different than these do. They don't have the same types of markings. Um, these ones are done in one ml. They're both a one, like a, excuse me, um, not a one ml. This is a half a ml or a half cc, the same thing. Um, but you'll see this says 30, 20, 50, 25. And this has one and a half, one, half, two, two and a half. Um, that's because insulin is given in units, which is also apparently how your my Lupron is given in a unit. So um, the nice thing about this company, because uh, I would have had to ask, is they sent a little conversion sheet on how to draw up Lupron in a insulin syringe. It gives the generic name Luprolide, um, but make sure you're following the directions. If you have questions about it, you need to ask your um, physician's office, your coordinator or a nurse there or something like that. Um, but he sent me a bag of those. And then I also got my progesterone injections. Um, so you can see it's in the box. There's a warning on it. It says, please rec uh, read and close patient information. Um, if you have diabetes, um, it says if you have diabetes, this could change your blood sugar levels, but most surrogates don't have diabetes, so we're going to go with that. That's not an issue for me. They sent some alcohol swabs so I can clean off before I do things. Um, they also gave me these little progesterone pills that I will be taking each day. These are only one ml. Um, I have some doxycycline, which is an antibiotic. Um, I'm not 100% sure why they sent this because I... Have, I wasn't told it was coming. I was just told the other stuff was coming. So I'm a little surprised by that. And then I have the estradiol, which is also the um, estrogen pills. Um, so that's the medications. And oh, I'm sorry. And then they sent me um, suppositories as well. Again, uh, these look like they're self compounded. Um, so basically how these work, I'm not going to open one of these because if I do, I'm going to be short. Um, I have had suppositories in the past where they were, came in a big fancy box. These look like they're self-compounded. You can tell because the bottom of it is open and you can see into where the medication is. It's not crimped off like it would be. Um, but these basically open the same way you peel them from the top right here and you just pull them out. They look like a little bullet and you right in there. Um, and, but this one also has... Uh, a little note on it on how to give your suppositories how to to apply them to the internal areas of your body <laughs> um, and what else did they send me oh they sent me the Lupron but the Lupron's in the fridge I'm gonna put the suppositories in there as well um, and then they sent me a whole bunch of like packing slips and um, the normal printouts that come with medications and information um, but basically what I'm gathering um, from this medication go around is we are going to be starting with Lupron, which I have not experienced before and I'm very nervous about because I've heard some real conflicting information on how this medication makes women feel. Um, my OB that I worked with looked at me like I was crazy when I said I wasn't, um, or when I said I was taking it and he was like, what? Um, but he said, expect, expect some mood swings. I've heard expect headaches. Um, if anybody has any tips or suggestions for that, that would be amazing. Just leave it down in the comments, please. Um, but yeah, we, uh, I'm looking forward to it. I also did notice that the Lupron is given sub Q, which is why they're giving me, giving me the insulin syringes. Um, the insulin syringe, I'll see if I can, can show, show it to you. Uh, maybe not. Um, it's a one half it's a half an inch needle so I mean it's it's only maybe that big it's very 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 small so compared to this it it's only like that big I use these syringes at work and they're they're very little and they're teeny tiny little needles we give terbutaline and um, insulin and other things like that with it uh, but sub Q means it basically like right here in the fatty part of your arm or in the fatty part of your belly it goes right under the skin right there and it goes right into the fatty part of the tissue and your body just absorbs it like that so um, they don't usually hurt as bad uh, but I'm still freaking out a little bit my husband's gonna have to learn how to give a new shot <laughs> he makes me nervous every time he learns <laughs> um, 
So that's what came in the box today, which means we start pretty soon. Um, I start the loop run, I think next week, the week after, the week after. So I have one more week and then I start the loop run and then we, we get this ball rolling and the um, transfer right now is set tentatively for April 6th of this year. So um, here we go. Off we go into the wonderful world of medications and whatnot. Uh, I will see you guys soon, hopefully, and um, if you guys want a real treat, maybe I'll I'll record my husband giving me an injection <laughs> and my girlfriend trying to talk me off the ledge um, because I have no willpower for that. It scares living daylights out of me. I am hate needles, you guys. I hate anything sharp. I don't care if it's a fork. I don't want to be poked with it. <laughs> No desire to be poked with anything. A dull stick? Nope, not happening. <laughs> so um, I really have to suck it up and and like whew, whew, maybe not freak out when I do it. Um, it takes a lot of self-talk to keep myself calm. So um, if you guys need anything or you have any questions or you want any topics covered or you just want to hang out, you can leave a comment below and there's a subscribe button down there as well. Go ahead and click that so you can keep up with us and Hopefully this round turns out better than the, the last round did because I will be extremely happy if that's the case. So I will see you guys soon. Bye.